Do you all ever use magnets in your studio? Boy, I sure do. Come on in and let me show you how. Hello, welcome to Senior Susie Stamps. This is Julia Laird, and today is a Thursday tip day. And I wanted to show you a little bit about the way I use magnets in my craft studio. We're all familiar with these little bar magnets that we use on the Misty, and they're wonderful. But you can do so much more with magnets. Let me show you. Come on. I have a little magnet wall, um, and I pull die cuts off of my magnet wall and put them on these little sheets that stay in these little wooden trays. These sheets have some adhesive on them, but what I find is these little tiny uh, die cuts are hard to get a hold of, so I, I leave them detached like that so that I can just pull, slip them off the side. It works really well, but I carry them in this rather than trying to carry them in my hand and drop one. That's the second way I use magnets. I also have some magnet that's mounted up on a Lucite picture frame, and that stands by the uh, spot that I am doing die cutting. And when I finish with a die that I'm done with, I just put my little magnet right there, and then I know it's ready to go back, and it's all corralled up for me instead of falling on the floor someplace because um, they're hard to see on this dark hardwood floor that I've got. So I think that was three. <laughs> you all keep count because you know I'm not going to be able to. These are some magnetized clips. They have a magnet on the back. I get them from the Dollar Tree. And they're very, very handy. I keep them clipped to my little Gramercy cart. Let me show you. This is some um, release papers I save for doing all kinds of things with. And I keep that clipped to my cart. These are the labels that I put on the back of my cards that I donate, and I keep those clipped to my cart. And those little clips uh, have a strong enough clip mechanism that they wrangle everything up nice and tight for you. I discovered some more magnets at the Dollar Tree, and they're nice for holding projects or holding stencils on a magnetized mat. Now this mat uh, is made in a way that the magnets will stick to it. It's from We Are uh, Memory Keepers, and I really, really like this mat. I have to recommend it. These are some more magnets that I use. They're a little stronger magnet than those other ones that I got from the Dollar Tree. These are shower curtain weights, and you put the shower curtain between them, and then it weights it in your shower, but they also make great holding magnets for projects on your mat. This particular mat came with some little magnets. And at first, when I was using these, I thought, oh, that's just ridiculous. I can't use those. But if you're trying to work up close to something, these are the berries. I'm just telling you, they're really nice. This mat came with a ruler that has a magnetic strip on the back of it, and it's wonderful for lining things up. That's another way I use magnets. <laughs> okay, you've seen this one before. This is my little catch-all for um, little finishing items like beads and flowers and what have you. It comes in two sizes, this size and one that's a little larger, and they have magnetic uh, panels on the back. So I put them either on my cart or I can shove them off over here and they don't move. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see, ugh, see my magnet box or not, but this is how I keep my cutting dies that are, um, well, they're either stacking dies or uh, smallish kind of dies. Let me show you. Ugh. These are like that. And what I do, these little sleeves are what they call job ticket holders. And they're heavy duty um, clear vinyl, I think, or w whatever material, I don't know. But then I'll take a, a heavyweight piece of cardstock that's cut to size. It'll just slip right down in there. 
and I used some of that self-adhesive magnet and put on there and then I just put um, my little cutting dies in there and if I want to get a little one like this little one here in the middle I use this magnet to yank it out with because it works better than me trying to go in there and dig them out with my fingers uh, let's see oh yes there's this one and let me tell you what when you drop something back behind your work table this is the bomb now for going down there and getting it you don't have to get down on your hands and knees and look you just wave this like a magic wand up underneath your table and you are done okay let me see oh i'm going to show you my magnet wall pictures but that's about all for today and i hope if you have other uses for magnets in your studio that you will let me know because i am all about it talk to you soon y'all have a great week bye bye